the 2019 PDC Hypothetical Asteroid Impact Scenario, as NASA reports. About a month ago, NASA was simulating a potentially catastrophic asteroid impact. It'll help scientists prepare for the real thing whenever that happens. The hypothetical story starts in March when scientists discover a near-Earth asteroid that's estimated to be between 330 and 1,000 feet wide. The asteroid, dubbed 2019 PDC, is expected to pass by Earth on May 13th at a safe distance of 12 million miles. But after following 2019 PDC's trajectory for a couple of weeks, the fictional scientists initially determine that the asteroid will swing back by Earth again in 2027. And when it does, the rock has a 1% chance of slamming into the planet. 1% may not seem very high, but for the planetary science community, it's enough for experts to take notice. Typically, near-Earth asteroids of this size don't reach such a high percentage of hitting the planet. 1% is a threshold at which we're going to take it very seriously and consider what options we have. But then things get worse. This simulation fast forwards to July 2019, after scientists have been able to observe 2019 PDC for a few more months. That allows them to get a better idea of the asteroid's size and path. In the simulation, they narrow down the width of the asteroid to between 460 and 850 feet. Now, 2019 PDC has a 10% chance of hitting Earth in 2027. In this exercise, real scientists are pretending to use tools that would actually provide the first warning sign of an impeding asteroid impact. The imagined 2019 PDC is discovered using the Pan-STARRS telescope, an observatory based in Hawaii. It's one of NASA's biggest instruments for tracking asteroids, along with the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona. A telescope in space known as NEOWISE has also helped the space agency catalog numerous asteroids that are orbiting near Earth. And the spacecraft is also used to track 2019 PDC in the simulation. In reality, NASA has discovered about 20,000 asteroids orbiting near Earth, about 900 of which are larger than 0.6 miles or 1 kilometer wide. If an asteroid that big were to slam into our planet, it could possibly trigger global climate change. The simulated asteroid isn't that large, so it wouldn't cause a global catastrophe. But if something like it were to hit Earth, it'll do some major damage. The asteroid could release between 100 to 800 megatons of energy, disseminating a large region of the planet. That's enough to trigger NASA to take some drastic measures. One option is to create a spacecraft that could rendezvous with the asteroid and ram into it, changing the object's speed and direction so that it will most likely miss Earth. That would be enough to make it miss the Earth if it was done years ahead. Meanwhile, Members will seriously discuss how to address this fictional asteroid threat. It helps the organizations practice how they would disseminate this information to politicians and to the public in the event of a real asteroid threat, and how they would develop and assess emergency response plans. Let's venture together into the universe. Thank you so much for watching.